Welcome to Rex Month. Uh, How are you doing, Daniel? I'm still feeling pretty good. Really? Yeah. Good. I wanted this to be fun for you. Yeah. All of the way through. Well, oh, most of sense. the way through. Yes. Yeah. Today I'm feeling a little Irish. Huh? I think. Oh! Well, no! Well, what? My God! What's that? Silence! I, former demigod Leclerc, demand there to be balance. We need an Ord Bag episode. Damn it, Brad! Ah, oh, you it, derobed me every time. The first time I ever interacted with <sighs> Brad, and he didn't wax my body. Yeah, that's true, Brad. So what? Uh, you did that. What did you do with your robe? Son of a bitch. Oh, it's art bag day. I'm okay with that. Yeah, the art bag usurped Team Whiskey today. Good call, Brad. Even though you had to use every ounce of your remaining demigod power to push this through, and the, the spark, the ember that was just fading away, you used it to really drive in an art bag day. And I'm not complaining. Not complaining. How many art bags do we have, Daniel? So, man, we've got a uh, two, four, six, eight, nine art bags. That seems pretty skimpy. Are you yeah. hiding? Are you hiding art bags from me? No, I'm really not. What do we not have? Sow up. What do um, we not have? Well, actually, it makes ten if we still have any left of the art bag 1815. This is the dark cove. Yeah, dark cove. That's all that's left. That little droplet. That's enough for me. Okay, hold on to that. Let's start with the ten. Yeah, the classic art bag is the ten. Okay, so, remember Ardbeg Isla Distillery, it's the other really smoky whiskey that's pretty famous. I would say Laphroaig and Ardbeg and Lagavulin. And Lagavulin are yeah. the trio that are most well known. Yeah. Um, and of those, I would say probably it's Lagavulin, Laphroaig, then Ardbeg as far as outsiders who have heard of it. Okay. Right? Yeah. I mean, I can say, have you heard of Lagavulin? Most everybody has mm -hmm. if they've ever watched. Parks and Rec. Right. And then, if, oh, have you heard of Lafroy? Oh, they're the ones that do that ad where they talk about their whiskey smelling weird. Right. It's like, yeah, but then Ardbeg, it's like, oh, you have to at least be slightly into the whiskey world to have start you, picking up on you, that. You heard of that Highland, Highland Park? Oh, they're the ones that ripped off the whiskey ball. Allegedly. <laughs> they do watch, they do watch this show, Hold by on. the way. Allegedly. Kate confirmed it. That's fine, that's fine. They make it a lovely whiskey. But they had these whiskeys in the works for years. Or so they say. You know they didn't. Allegedly. Here's why. <laughs> Here's why, Daniel. Because you know what the most recent ad is? Hmm. It's a picture of Highland Park and their bottles. You right. know what the big giant caption says above it? No. A tribe set apart. Oh. <laughs> oh man. You are getting, our whole business is getting mooched by Highland Park. Allegedly. A little bit. <laughs> That's No, we've been working on this for years. The so king wait, of mooches. Wait, 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 the bear. Okay, it's a common animal, powerful animal. Sure, eagle. Yeah, these are well, all. People like eagles. Yeah. But okay, this is two out of all the animals in the world, you go with bear and eagle. Fine, dolphin, son of a bitch. Well, the dolphin, there really are some love lore in Viking history for son dolphins. Son of a bitch. But and the then, whole tribe and thing. then the tribe thing. Right, listen up, you pieces of. <laughs> That's impressive. That's not impressive. Anybody can rip anybody else off. Allegedly. <laughs> I want a copyright strike. You think we need the reverse YouTube copyright strike button? Uh, Somebody <laughs> off of YouTube. Reverse YouTube. Yeah, we, we click the copyright strike button on YouTube and someone someone standing in the tasting room and half their banners disappear off the walls. Like what? And then it's a place that says YouTube copyright claim. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> the algorithm is uh, that powerful. That's amazing. <laughs> Alright, what do you think about this tin? Uh, they do make good whiskey though. So I'm getting, I'm just gonna start, I'm gonna keep this one in my glass for a little bit here because I can't go through all of these. Remember, I'm gonna psalm you here. So what do you like about the tin? So, ah, 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 rage, rage subsiding. Calm down. Rage subsiding. First impression. I need to be in a good place. Oh, it's just, it's nice and rich. It's got all the peat smoke of Laphroaig, but it's darker notes instead of brighter. It's got less of the medicinal. A little bit, it's still there. It's still there, but it's less than Laphroaig. Or less of Laphroaig and... There's these nice rich mid-tones. Mid-tones, and there's a sweetness that I can still find in Laphroaig, 
but I'm not having to search for it through the cacophony. It feels like it's a little bit more prominent of a sweetness. Uh, it's ca but it's cacophony. <laughs> it's cacophony. <laughs> okay, so set that one aside. Again, again, rage subsiding. No, it's 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 nice and rich, and tin seems like it'd be really you know really aged here in the states. Tin for a scotch. This uh, this has a respectable amount of complexity, yes, nuance, has. depth. You gotta calm down before we get to the nice art bags. I don't want you ruining it with your bad attitude. I get a little bit of that brine, but the most smokiness I'm getting is from like a, a wood, a burning wood smoke. This one's gonna stay in the slightly briny world. Okay. And not quite as sweet. So tell me what you think about this one. Oogdal is what I'm pouring. This is more sweet. I'm well, gonna... no, no, sweeter than this. I'm I'm thinking of what's coming next, okay. and there's a lot of sherry cask coming okay, next. Okay, because this is sweeter than the tin. Yes. And slightly less medicinal than the tin. Slightly less smoky than the tin. It's like, it's, yeah, it's but... definitely an Ardbeg, but the sweet elements for me are brought up a little bit, and everything else is toned down a little bit. Yeah, so it's almost like, um, you ever turn on the car and realize you left the sound on way too loud when you left it the last time? That's an amazing prank to pull on people, by the way. <laughs> Just turn it all, all the way up and then turn the car off. And so you get this moment of start, bam! You turn it down really fast. <laughs> to me, that's how the smoke appears oh. in this one. Yeah. It's that it jumps out and then instantly it's like, whoa! And then it gets sweet and approachable. <laughs> Does that make sense? Yeah. No, I'm just remembering. I so as this lingers, you can't do that sound thing on modern a lot of modern cars because it's all digital. Yeah. You have to have the car on to do it. You well, know? Yeah, so we you, did this to my Spanish teacher's car in junior high. <laughs> of course she did. She lived like right down the street. Uh, and one day she was taking groceries in. She left the car running. She ran in there putting groceries up. So we went into her car, cranked the volume all the way up, and then turned the car off. Right. And so she would think, I had already turned the car off. And when we waited for the next morning, we knew she was going to get in her car and go to school. And she turned it on. She freaked out so hard. Head snapped back. She rolled out of the car. <laughs> she rolled out she, of the car? She, she didn't have her seatbelt on. Her head snapped back. She threw open the door. She rolled out of the car, stumbling around. It's like somebody <laughs> punched her in the face. <laughs> All right, so move on. We're going to go to grooves. Now, remember, this is the smoky Ardbeg casks uh, mixed with some wine finish. So far, I'm liking the Anoa. I really like the Anoa. I wish that first little bite of smoke lasted 20% longer. Well, if you want more of a bite, then the tin's gonna serve you. Yeah, but no, I like the sweetness that the the uh, other one likes. You want a little more than that? Yes. There we go. Yeah, this one has more of the campfire getting, in the nose. I'm getting, I didn't even nose. I went straight in. A little bit more bitiness. It feels springy on the tongue with the finish. See, this is it. This, the bite kind of travels through the whole drink, all the way through. Right. But it never quite reaches the level of dense smoke. It's just, it's this spike that just like kind of right through the whole. And I think that I'm remembering this because like the name of Grooves and the font me right. leads me to believe this is going to be, so just chill, hey, man. Groovy, Peace man. and love. No, no, no. No, no. This is a serious art bag. It's even, this is headed back towards the tin and aggression. It is. The Anoa is uh, a little bit more light and playful. Or the Ugadol. Is it the Ugdol? We're about to do the Anoa. Alright, so the Ugdol is one they like. Yeah. This is the second so one. So keep that in mind. Ugadol. As a matter of fact, we should pour some Ugadol in a glass so you can maybe compare now that you already know you like one of the three. Mm -hmm. This is the Ugadol. Hold on to that. And just when you, when you, something supplants the Ugadol, right. that's when we swap to a new glass. Oh, okay. Right? So, so this you always is, are comparing your favorite one so far. In lieu of you taking notes, this is what we're doing. Yeah. I don't have time to take notes. You should have like an entire, like a booklet full of my preferences. <laughs> <laughs> I don't even keep a personal diary. And, and then every time I'm not going to keep a Rex diary. Every time I start talking, you pull it out and you're just waiting. Mm. Oh yeah, that's rich. This has the most densely complex nose of anything we've smelled so far. And it very rounded off too. Yeah, and that's why I'm saying it feels dense. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's like, argh. it's not the sharp jumping out of the glass. So I don't, I don't know if you can throw around a word smooth whenever it comes to peaty Isla scotches, but the terms that we like to use is rounded off edges. Doesn't have that sharp, bitey aggressive aggression in any, any areas of just spikiness. 
This is very full bodied uh, and rounded off edges, very rich though. And it's the richness that's going to be closer in notes to, flavors to, which one? Are you getting, I'm not getting a tremendous amount of sweetness on this. No, I'm really not. And I can't, I don't, I don't think this is like any of the others. So, uh, so far. Ooh. It's, it's this is the most subtle. It's a sitting back guard bag. Yeah. This is a lean back in the armchair hard bag. Okay, so uh, of these two, what's your preference still? Yeah, yeah, just remember, yeah. this one went slightly spiky and then it went mild and sweet. Yep. This one I think is just generally dense and sweet and light and mild. Mm -hmm. So do you need that little spike up front or do you just like the nice, mild, approachable hard bag? Mm. There's, a, there's a black pepper note in this. Ooh, yeah. So you're black. still holding on to that well, hold slight on. spice. Which is what I would do. I much prefer the Oogadol so far. They're both they're exceptional. Right. They're both exceptional. More often than not, though, if I'm in the mood for something peaty, right. uh, I'm going to reach for something that I know is going to have a little bit of drama. All right, so Oogadol it is. Oogadol, yeah. Now we're going to go to Perpetuum. What are you doing? I'm doing the Perpetuum. The Endless Snake Dance? Yes. See, I see why you were so popular in high school now. <laughs> you won all the dance-offs. You could have been popular too if you would have taken notes of your friend's preferences. This is sweeter. Sweeter. In the nose. And on the, on the, I'm not even nosing. I'm just going right in for. I'm getting all these like kind of vanilla candy notes in the nose. This is sweeter and then it's much Tamer. I'm a, it's, it, compared to the others. Oh, no, no, no. This is a. Uh, compared to the others, it's more watery. Uh, <clears throat> going back, you're right. There's bite in that Oogadol I'd forgotten about. Mm -hmm. But this is coming closer to the Oogadol than the Anoa did. The Anoa was, was sweeter. This is simpler, but it's not sweeter. This, to me, tastes like a slightly more mellow tin. Or big tin. Yeah, it, yeah, I would, I would buy that. Like you took the tin and you just sanded some of the edges yeah. off. It's really, yeah, mean, it's nice. It's Ardbeg. All of these, I are like Ardbeg. it. All of these are staunchly in in the, the Ardbeg, Ardbeg territory. Yes. Yeah, it's funny when we're doing the single malt whiskey society. Yeah, you good with this one? You want to stick with the Ugadol as your favorite? They, it's a society that bottles whiskeys, single cask whiskeys from Scotland, right. and they never tell you what distillery on the bottle, right. or rarely tell you what distillery this single cask is. They just have it a name like. Fruit and vanilla or something like that, right? But every time you're doing those tastings and you get to an art bag, you're like, oh, that's the art bag. <laughs> I don't care what title you put on this bottle, but that was art bag. <laughs> um, okay, we're now jumping into one I have never tasted. Really? Have I? No. It's called the art bag Lord of the Isles. I'll show the people. Here. Ooh, look at this. It's sort of like Lord of the Rings. It's got a scroll. <clears throat> Cool scroll, and then what is this over the top? It looks like a long stamp or like foreign money type of deal. Yeah, it's uh, oh, you know what? Mm. It means that this went to a country outside of Scotland and it had to have a stamp showing that it was in the country illegally. I wonder where this was originally purchased. Dude, it's a, it's a straight up scroll. So this, oh man, we should wait on this. Really? We're gonna wait on this. What? Pull, pull, We're going pull, to try pull, it. Pull, 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 no, 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 pull, because wait, pull, uh, there's a reason. Pull. There's a reason. Daniel, I gotta, I'm telling you this right now. There's a reason. This better be the most amazing reason to come out of your dumb face. Yeah. For me to not experience an Ardbeg yeah. on Ardbeg Distillery Tour. No, you're going to drink it. Today? You're just going to drink it in a different order. Oh, fine. Yeah, I looked at it and it turns out that's a 25-year-old Ardbeg. <laughs> and I want to wait until we get to it by going to the 17 first. Okay, so this is the 17. Oh. Uh, uh oh. Uh oh. Let's uh, see if there's a way to get this out from the pressure from the side. You can dig out chunks. You really don't want to keep breaking it up though. This is just going to go downhill. Uh, no. Nope. Uh, oh my god! Dad Wait, don't, don't. No. I'm there. Don't, don't jinx it. Uh, oh, did you put oh, it in? Almost. Did you get it? Can you do it? Ha! Ah! I did it. <laughs> Still level three though. Yeah, the coke and um, the coke, the cork adhered. Oh yeah. But look, I got the whole. 
intact. Oh yeah. Bottom section. Minimal bits in there. Mm-hmm. Fair enough. All right. So, welcome to the 17. Oh man, is this sherry? Mm-hmm. Is that a sherry thing? This I'm jump? betting. Yeah. There we go. New cork. That's why you always keep the good corks from the last. Wow, it's like bottling. It's like a strawberry fruit on the nose. Oh yeah, yeah. but it's like vanilla. It's like strawberry cream. Yeah. Is it because I've had so many art bags that I'm immune to the peatiness? Oh whoa no! Taste that. Right. That is the most desserty. That is more desserty than the 1815. This is like strawberry cream. Wow. I wonder if it's, it's had got, evaporation problems. It's got walnuts. It's got dried apples. Yeah. Walnuts, strawberries, and cream. It's pure dessert. Are you finding peat in here at all? No, I'm having a hard time finding it. I mean, compared to all the other things we've been drinking. This is like a rich and lovely space side. If I was, no, no, if, if we were drinking a real space side, you would pick this up and go, oh, there's the Ardbeg. All right. But we've just, we're in Ardbeg world, so it's, the world okay. looks different <laughs> when you're looking at it through Ardbeg colored, colored lenses. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Wow, that's it, it's that is the most mildly beautiful art bag I've ever tried. Well, and with I the, like that better with, than the eighteen fifteen. With the word mild, it doesn't mean it's it's not rich. It's very rich, but in terms of what you're usually going to find in an art bag, this is a tame, beautiful, you know, delicate creature that just has really deep, robust flavors that jump out of the nose and the glass. Okay, this is the twenty. One. Mm. Oh. So we've now gone on five more years. I feel like, what, what was this, a 17? That's pretty unicorny. Yeah, I'm not sure I feel cut, because this could be my favorite Ardbeg. Yeah. But I don't feel like, in what people expect from an Ardbeg lineup, That's this, true. this should be... Wait, dump one of those. Which one are you dumping? Well, this is the... That's U the Ugadol? The Ugadol. Okay, so we'll dump the Ugadol. But that's yeah, the, that's the Ugadol. That's the one that I'm comparing everything to. No. Because you're about to put 21 and you just landed on that vin that strawberry cream. No, I said We'll I'm, come back to the Ugadol. I said I can't land on this because it's so weird. And, and but I don't want to dump that because that's... I know. <laughs> yeah. We're getting to the point where I'm no longer willing to dump out whiskey. All right, so this is the 21. Mm -hmm. 21 year old Ardbeg. Mm -hmm. Just nothing weird or different about It's just Ardbeg? Yep. Okay, so... A handful of cask... And this is... Whoa! Take that strawberry cream and add a bunch of mustiness to it. Like it's been stored in, an, in a slightly damp cupboard, like a like a old cellar. Yeah, that's what I mean. Like you open it up and you're like, whoa! I can smell the humidity and the slight like mold. a cellar underneath a tavern. Yeah. Yeah. Yes, absolutely. Musty is the word. Oh, that's way better than the 17. Well, it's got more character for what you like. Yeah, for what I like, it's got all the nice sweet notes of the 17, but it added back in the barrel character. This is, it's super rounded off, mm -hmm. right? Not at all, you know, aggressive or spiky, but very complex, uh, very I rich. Like and the thing that is added on top of the, the, the Ardberg notes that you know and love already is this overbearing mustiness, like the cellar under a tavern. It's really nice. I wouldn't say it's my favorite, though. Now we're going at uh, 23. Mm -hmm. Two more years. Mm. Two more years. Okay, so I'm not noticing a huge difference. It's a little more spiky, a little more peaty, but not by much. Yeah, definitely a cousin. A close cousin. It's a little more aggressive. The, yeah, the years added some more of the rump back Yeah, I think it. the wood character kind of showed back up again. Yeah, it's like the, the age took off all the rough edges and then it started like, okay, the rough edges are gone. Now we're just going to saturate this. Yeah, I think the 21 and the 23 really could have been blended together into one whiskey with a lot of the same characteristics. Mm -hmm. They're just slightly, they're first cousins. Yeah. And that Very is, closely related. If you like uh, the 23 or the 21, you're going to like the other two. And I'm assuming Here, let's the, test my theory. I'm assuming the 21's much less expensive. Probably. Yeah. Okay, there's the blend of the 21 and the 23. Let me see your uh, 23. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. It's just the extra years turned a corner and the, the, the barrel just started saturating and ramping up. Okay, so that's, uh, that's the 23. Mm-hmm. Uh, we're about to do the 25-year-old Lord of the Isles. Lord of the Isles. 
Oak barrels for 25 years. Non-chill filtered. Yeah. Yeah, it's just history information. I think this is like a like a fancy cardboard. It is. That's what we're going to be making our boxes out of. You know fancy who, cardboard. You know who else uses stuff like this? Hmm. Apple. Yeah. Right. This kind of. And then look, they got like like fabric stuff in here. Yeah, we're not going to do fabric stuff. I don't think. Tube for socks. Ours. Tube socks. We could do some. We could do tube socks in every one of our crowded barrel releases. That would be amazing. That would be funny. Is what it would be. No, no, no. Amazingly funny, <laughs> but more amazing than anything. We put it in a sock. Just a, just any sock. <laughs> just go buy them from Costco. Right. And it's like, no. as part of the bottling process, goes to the stickering it, cork, we seal it, and then someone opens up a giant bag of it socks needs and to be sticks it in a sock. The 1980s banded tube socks. Yeah. The specific cut. They're, they're iconic. You're really upping our... Uh, our embedded cost of our bottles. I, being picky on socks, really. Yeah. <laughs> you take the socks you get. <laughs> <laughs> you like it. This okay, is so this is the 25 year old Lord of the Isles. Wow, okay. You know what this has? Once again, the berries and cream is showing up. Yeah, but this has something else. No, it has something oh, else. Oh, on the, um... It has something else. It is... The strawberries and cream note, more so than other Ardbecks. It's a chewy caramel candy. Like when you get those hard to chew and they stick to your teeth kind of caramel. Werther's Original? Yeah. Ooh. There's a little, like, super wow. sweet butterscotchy note behind the, the, um... This is reintroducing the wood smoke back into yeah. the Ardbeg. Mm-hmm. It, 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 I know it's peated, right? Oh, that's good. I know it's peated, but I am getting the... Is it from the barrel char? Because it's wood for me. Um, so, to me, uh, peat usually presents as ashy tasting in the aftertaste. Okay. And the heavy wood notes tend to present as darker notes. Okay. No, this is this is a wood. But that's not always the case. I find exceptions to that. Mm. You know what's going to... Is there another one? Is that it? I've got one right here. So, right. I'm going to give you a clean glass. Right. And I'm gonna pour this just for you, yeah. Because I care about how much is left in the bottle, yeah. And I don't need to try it again right now, yeah. Because I'm gonna tell you, I'm gonna tell you right now. Mm -hmm. So far, this Lord of the Isles, mm -hmm. it is my favorite. That's the one. I'm sorry. I know that's hard. All right, here, open this box. Lovely. The Ardbeg 1815. Oh. This is a very expensive bottle of whiskey. Oh. We best not try. <laughs> I am done da, 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 thunk. Oh, look at this. This is compliments of the patron saint of whiskey, Brad LeClaire. You some bitch. <laughs> and he's other titles in the whiskey truck. Okay, are you ready? This is just for you. 33 years old. Gaw. 33 years old. Look how much darker that is. 33. Oh. Oops. I, I promised fine. myself I would never get hurt on camera. Fine. Rex, there's just one line you can't cross. Yeah. And my memory of it was that the first time we tried it, it was at the end of a really long day at the grand opening, yeah. and all I tasted was sherry cask. I couldn't find any smoke. It this was just candy. Whiskey is in desperate need of a spanking. <laughs> then I tried it the second time, and I went, "No, it's still, it's still hard big." Come on, man. Oh, it's, Come on. it's the most sherried hard big you will ever smell in your whole life. No, get on, get in on that taste. Hold on, get in on the taste. I'm letting you mooch from my hand. Oh wait. It's still hard bag. Yes. Whoa, but that sherry is like smoked sherry. That's weird. Right. It's like you took a fruit and then you added a little bit of liquid smoke to it. Wow, that's trippy. That's phenomenal. That's amazing. That is. I still go back to the 20s. An things. exotic and beautiful creature. Yeah. You get sherry. At 33 years, I think there's a certain point for most whiskeys where they get age to a point where they have a, a tremendous amount of complexity and then they start to turn a corner and it starts to get so rounded off that you begin to lose some of the nuance and complexity. That, right. So at 33 years, this is amazing. This is phenomenal. This is phenomenal. And you can't achieve what's in this glass in less time mm -hmm. because we've had, you know, several tremendously old whiskeys like, oh, wow, that's a new different thing. Yeah, it's a but, different X factor. But if you're looking for 
uh, complexity and nuance and a lot of things, just busyness in the glass. Yeah. It doesn't necessarily have to be ancient. Right. You can have like incredibly uh, complicated whiskeys with a lot going on and everything going on works and it's amazing. And yeah. It's just like delicate, elaborate yeah. dance. Did you know that Lafroy Glore just won uh, a No Age Statement Scotch of the Year by Jim Murray? Really? Yeah. You know who else just won in Texas? Hmm. Balcones and Garrison just got named top uh, craft whiskeys in different categories. Huh. Two Texas whiskey distilleries. Yeah. Congratulations to everybody that did well with, was it contest? With the Jim Murrays of yes, the world. Yes, the Jim Murrays. Yeah. Uh, so, in order, you ready? I still come back to the 20-somethings. I think the 21 was my favorite. My favorite? Mm-hmm. It's this Lord 25. Of the, the Lord of the Isles. Lord of the Isles. Is this a 20 what? 25. The 25, and then the Oogdal, and then the 33. Oh, wow, okay, interesting. Yes. I, and now, for the money, Oogdal all day, every day. I would agree. I would agree. Oogdal's amazing. The 25 has this berries and cream note. Yeah. But... Now, notice there's no dark cove in here. That's because we used the last of a dark cove in a tasting. Oh. Now, there's some drops left. Rex, if you want to finish with that for a toast. You ready? Happy uh, distillery week, this is not, you guys. This is not the toast because I have to give notes. <laughs> it's not really anything, hardly anything in there. Damn, dude. It's the dark cove is the best thing I think Ardbeg has ever made. Damn, how is this not in the lineup? Because we don't have any that no one has anymore. All of, all of I called like six stores in Austin. No one carries it. All right, so the dark cove it's gone. Based on these droplets, yeah. It's it's definitely it's in the top five for sure. Yeah, it's, could be get could be up there in like level three or four. For me, it's top two. Wow, dark cove. All right, yeah. so everything that we said plus yeah, dark, dark cove, cove maybe. All right. Here's some what does that, wait, 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 wait. Can you do me a favor? Can you give me a I, heads up? I can. On what I have the ability next week holds for me. Are you really just stretched so thin? I am so tired. <laughs> this is what this is what we're doing. We're doing things <laughs> that. Here's to fighting, stealing. Ah, uh, if you fight me, I fight for a friend. And if you steal, may you steal a lover's heart. And if you drink, may, may you drink, drink with us. Hey, thanks for hanging out with us in the Whiskey Vault. Don't forget to throw in a like, hit that subscribe button on the bottom right, and drop a question or comment down below.